You want in? You better talk to me. You've been sent by Twinblade to check his entry policy, haven't you? No band of gloves, no entry. You know the score. You won't get in just standing there. Nice bandit gear. This here is Twin Blades Camp. Once you're in, you're in for good. So, feel free to get changed when you're inside. Another one coming in, Joe. Open the gates. to get in here. Hey, you're not going anywhere where a bandit's residence pass. There's a bloke in the tavern's got one. Practically lives there. I've uh, heard you might be interested in procuring a camp pass. Well, I can get you one, but it'll cost you a thousand gold. Hmm, you may be interested, but if you can't afford it, tough. So, you've heard I've got a spare pass, have you? Well, tell you what, you win a game of Guess the Edition, and it's yours. Of course, no bandit I have ever met has had the intelligence to win before. It'll be fun watching you fail. <laughs> <coughs>
You're the first bandit I've ever seen with the brains to beat my game. In fact, are you sure you're even a bandit? Ah, oh, well, never mind. I said you would win my pass if you beat me. So here it is. Don't have a pass. Clear. Looks like a valid pass to me. And you go. Let him through. through here, set my the boss told me to look after this area, he's having a party. And that includes not letting anyone through this door, apart from the hostages providing the entertainment. And that's what I'm gonna do, got it? We don't let just anyone have a clash, you know. Get some experience in Barstone and Oakvale first. Talk to Roderick. He deals with the scruffy public. I notice you've been contemplating the gates into Twin Blades' quarters. Hmm, perhaps we could cause a diversion to draw out the reserve guards. The gate would be open for you then. Of course, such a risky endeavor would require adequate remuneration. It's a very fair transaction in these arduous times. We'll be here if you decide to reconsider. You're speaking to the wrong assassin. Talk to Roderick. He speaks for all of us. What's going on? Come to look at Twin Blades Entertainment. Ain't they just lovely? <laughs> Gonna be a fun party, all right. Help! Let us out of here! The guard has the key. Get it off him. So, ladies, looking forward to Twin Blades Entertainment. have escaped! Grab them before they get away!
Well done. The gate is open. You can go to Twin Blades area now. See what you're made of.
Finish it quick then. I'd do the same for you. There you are. What's wrong? Don't you recognize your own sister? Her past once again before her, Teresa's memories returned in a blaze of fire. Oakvale was burning. She watched in silence as the bandits tortured her mother, then turned to her with questions of the missing boy. She answered them only with a stare, and so their leader sliced out her eyes. The raiders took the boy's mother and left Teresa alone in the forest. There she crawled for three days, blind and desolate, until she was found by bandits, Twinblade and his men. She began a new life of servitude among their clan. But the bandit king sensed her exceptional strength and power of will and listened as she whispered dark prophetic truths in her sleep. Those who could never accept this small blind girl standing by their master's side did not last long. When they attacked, she killed them without mercy and without emotion. for this was her place in the world now. I've seen so many things, so much killing, so much dying. I've seen you, little brother, in a ring of sand and blood, an arena full of secrets. And I've seen the choice you'll have to make one day between the darkness and the light. Teresa! I'm sorry, Twinblade. Your path is alone now. All our paths are. But before I leave, brother, I have a present for you. For all the birthdays I've missed. A power that runs in our family. He finds you when you're sleeping, and when the daylight fades. What are you waiting for? Finish it, or leave me alone. I'm dead anyway. I'm no one's king anymore. Ugh.